welcome to my very first YouTube channel! Yes! I finally did it! <laughs> In this one, I'll be taking you through a lovely art studio tour. Um, just like some couple quick notes since this is like my very first video. I always wanted to do an art video or even like an art YouTube, but I've always been way too shy. I was the quiet kid in grammar school and then again in high school and then again in college. So this is like my full attempt to at finally like breaking out of my shell, you know, getting like really putting myself out there. So I hope you enjoy it. Um, I'm also looking for feedback. So if you have any like comments, suggestions or anything you'd like to see, please leave a comment below and please remember to like and subscribe when the video is done. All right. Hope you have a lot of fun. Hello. This is my art studio and I'll give you a quick tour of everything starting from left to right. Over here I have a desk that is sitting on top of a trunk <laughs> and some boxes. Um, this is kind of where I keep all of my lay stuff. This is a project that is meant to actually go onto this piece. Um, the butterflies were a great idea. Technicality, uh, they didn't really hold up. But I'm going to get into probably repairing them. Maybe I'll do a video on that too. This is how the butterflies were attached originally um, through a magnet, but yeah. Here we have some paintings and a stop sign that I actually, you know, I don't know if I could legally say where I got that from, so we're going to keep going. Here are the other butterflies, and this is where I keep all of my mediums, the Gamsol and Gambar mainly. Another piece from a really old painting. <laughs> this is basically my graveyard of failed attachments. Um, this is a art book from one of my favorite artists, Storm. And here is more gambar and some linseed oil that I actually stopped using, but it's really good. I have a record player here. I have all my favorites down here, actually have some Fleetwood Mac, can't go wrong with them. I even have some old school Paramore. This is the album that I very frequently listen to while painting, to be honest. It's one of those albums that you really just can't go wrong with. I have an unopened Red Hot Chili Peppers. This is one of my favorite albums by them, and I just had to have like the vinyl copy of it. And this is the other one I have, which is the Million and One Aaliyah copy, which is really nice. And I have some acrylic paints over here, which I use every blue moon. Um, I love acrylic paints. I think whichever, if you're more of an acrylic person or a oil person, whichever one works for you is what's great for you, to be honest. Um, I mostly painted all my life with acrylic. I can actually show you. I did this one with acrylic, and this was one of my favorite paintings that I think I did. And I also did not this one, but this one with acrylic. And that was one of also my favorite paintings. Um, these ones down here were also acrylic. I did these ones in high school, actually. Whatever works floats your boat. So after we go through the acrylic paint, here we just have my storage. So this is like um, if I want to do more drawings or work on some canvas pads. I use this little clipboard right here. Um, it's pretty old, to be honest. I probably should update that, but if it's not broke, don't fix it. It's kind of always my motto. Um, I got this back in like high school, so a solid uh, 15 years ago, to be honest. And this is some hardboard that I have cut out shapes from. If you can spot the shapes, <laughs> it's kind of fun, actually. Then right here, I have a miniature easel that my mother bought me in high school when I was working very small still. My first ever studio was actually my bedroom floor in which I got so much paint on the carpet. But yeah. Then from there we have my Nespresso machine, some lights, and this is my more well-known painting that I'm known for. 
overgrown. This is the one painting of mine that actually went like internet viral. I have a lot to thank for this painting to be honest. The painting is of my best friend Sydney. We've known each other since we were uh, <laughs> basically nine years old, ten, maybe something around that. And we're both 28 now so it's crazy how long a friendship can go and also the benefits that can come out once you, when you paint a portrait out of pure friendship and love for a person. Next up we got my clothesline of prints. Let's see if I can get really close up here. Here we got everything that I love. This is mainly soy milk. Um, she also does not have a YouTube, but she is an amazing painter. She's one of my favorites. And we also have Bu, and I love his art. Uh, he does these really amazing uh, ocean-esque paintings that are so beautiful. I have several pieces of his work. Here's another one. So I basically have him kind of ending all of Soyi's prints that are in my studio. It's really, really nice. I have another one of his that I am currently going to take to the frame shop. And yeah, super excited for that. And this is what is currently on my easel. I actually just finished this piece. I'm just waiting for it to, to dry. If it's dry to the touch. Once like a painting is dry to the touch, I usually wait another two weeks before varnishing it. I'm actually thinking of waiting a solid six months now. I just read somewhere that it's actually the amount of time you're supposed to take. But yeah, this one's coming out nice. I've been waiting for like the back to dry. I decided to paint the back of this so it can kind of give a full effect. So I might go in with some green acrylic paint and just paint the back of that. Maybe not oils, um, since it is the back side and not extra important. Uh, down here is where I keep all of my little canvases. Uh, and palettes. So here is where I put my paints. An old canvas, uh, not canvas, an old uh, palette right there. Yeah. I forgot to mention that, because I also just forget to see it, but underneath my lovely uh, giant thing right here, I have a little drawer set. So in this drawer, it's just like masculinity things. I have some old notepads some golden leaf glue, scissors, and there's glue sticks and stuff in here and thread. Like basically things that like I keep around for older, uh, for any type of projects that might pop up. Uh, we have my old camera from high school in here and some more medium actually. I should put that up here. All safe. Let's see what's at the bottom of this drawer. Oh junk. <laughs> Ignore that. All right. So now we move over here. This is where the magic happens is my viewpoint for when it happens. And there's the windows that I open when I need to. They're currently right now covered by my fake plants and an old painting. Some fake plants that I got at Target. I gave, decided to give it some more space to kind of go along with like the theme of the art studio and also more or less the theme of my paintings. Um, yeah, here is the tripod and my business cards that just came in. You can see the reflection on them very nicely here. It actually kind of matches my nail polish today, which is really nice. Now we have my desktop over here, which I will hopefully be doing a lot of editing on. Yeah gonna get this YouTube thing right. So my little keyboards, we have a cute little, um, my AirPods that, and I got this case from Amazon, it was very cute. Here is my glue and my lip gloss and more business cards. And in here we actually have like pack tracking stuff that I, I flunked. Um, and then also my planner. So this planner is uh, what I use to basically plan out all my art. Anything pertaining to art, I put in here. And it's very messy, so I'm not going to open it up because it is my <laughs> terrible, terrible note keeping. It is, would not be productive. I actually forgot what's in this drawer. Oh, tape. Tape is in this drawer. Oh, 
And I have this little sentimental thing in here. Uh, my grandfather gave this to me right before he, the year he passed yeah, called Achieve. He gave it to me because he really loved how much I did in life. I was a little overachiever. Uh, still am. I guess now I'm a big overachiever. So he got that right. Um, I keep it with me. It's just good luck. And so far, good luck has come my way. As for this one, it's this where I should probably throw out all of these bad, <laughs> bad labels I have misprinted, like, entirely. Um, yeah, here's my label printer for when I do shipping, and this is where I keep all the labels. And this is a SIM card reader and whatnot. And underneath all of this, we have my painting clothes! So they were entirely jumbled up. I was like, oh, I should fold them for the YouTube video, but no. You guys are getting the full messy studio version of me. So these are the painting pants that I do and the painting shirt that I typically work in. These are like the comfiest like material I have ever like felt in my life, which is why I turned them into painting materials. It's like my old college sweatpants and I think Noah's Ark or something. I had went to Wisconsin. I'm from the Midwest, so that's like Cali out here uh, for like some type of trip and I have different sets of them up here so just different things I sometimes wear this is basically the graveyard of where all my clothes that <laughs> got paint on them go that I no longer can wear out because I actually don't like wearing out clothes that have paint and then up here I have more masculinitist things I have this lovely um, Funk Paco by Pop Funko. I'm so sorry. You will learn that I mess up words very, very easily. Um, but here we have some super glue, um, tarot cards, and lotion. I My hands get very dry very easily, so I just like to keep lotion kind of around. Um, I have some pictures of my parents. So here's little me with my mom at my kindergarten graduation. There is little me with my dad on our birthday. And this is my lovely grandmother on my father's side. Um, I love her to death. And here we have an inspirational quote that I like to read that helps me stay balanced and a small bracelet from Thailand. I went to Thailand recently in November of 2020 2022 and I went with a group of friends and I got blessed at the Big Buddha temple and my bracelet popped off but I just want to keep it safe. It was a very nice experience. Here we have an old painting that I did for a show actually once. This, is, this painting taught me a lot. Um, it was kind of the painting where I decided I did this one in 2019. This is kind of the painting where I decided that I felt like my art was really boring for some reason. Um, not that it was bad, I just wasn't excited to do art. Um, and I was stuck in like the same thing. And luckily I had that revelation because I started birthing these types of paintings, uh, especially this one down here. And I feel like the jump in excitement, you can see like the jump of like passion from this painting to this one is pretty, pretty stellar to be honest. Next up we have this little guy. So I did this little guy in my master's program of medical illustration. Um, everyone gets to do one. He's so fun. I don't know where else to put him so he kind of like watches over the studio, keeps all the bad vibes out. This one is a drawing I did in high school. Same for that one and that one. Everything up here actually on this row is done in high school. Um, these were the drawings and paintings I was most proud of, so I didn't sell them. Um, but yeah, here is a tiny little thing next to a big thing. Here is the lamp that I use. Um, don't really know how to show that off, so it's actually a lamp inception. So this big lamp right here is broken, but <laughs> I bought this tinier lamp from uh, Home Depot. And that's basically what I use to kind of see a little bit better at nighttime. In the morning, I can like open that these up and a lot of really beautiful sunlight comes in. And on this chair, actually, we got what I do uh, when I film my TikToks. 
or go live, I can just put my phone really cozy in here and point it. And the great thing about having the two chairs now is this is entirely mobile, so I don't have to like be like really finicky about it. Um, and I also got this jacket. So this jacket is entirely for an art project. <laughs> my friends and I got this great idea to paint blue jean jackets. One of my friends, Kyla T, has already painted her jacket and I need to do mine next. I already got the design and everything planned out, but yeah, hopefully it's something I can do and potentially film, get some more ideas going for this YouTube. And here we have one of my chairs. I got two chairs. My lovely partner bought me this new one and it's so great because I can like actually sit while drawing and painting on my big canvases now versus in this one it didn't um it's pretty stationary it's good for like smaller ones or whatever but this easel doesn't really like lower all the way um i got this easel a while ago it's really nice i actually wish i i got a different one i might upgrade this to be something different at some point in time potentially um but yeah, I kind of wish I got one that had a little bit more flexibility to it. Um, like it went further up and down and it was wider, more stable. Yeah, down here we got some skateboards. I'm doing a skateboard show with a gallery this upcoming June. I have to get these ready soon, so watch out for a video on that. These will be the first like YouTube come paint with me things that I probably do. So that'll be fun. And behind my favorite painting is my canvas stash, which is running a very, very low. I have exactly two canvases in here, so I need to go fix that at some point in time. <laughs> All right, that is the end of my art studio tour. So I hope you liked it. Like I said in the beginning, I would love to hear feedback, opinions, anything that you think I could work on. I know editing is one. This was my first video I think I've ever edited. So that's crazy. Um, TikTok's giving me kind of a little bit of like a mini tutorial on it, but I've never to this extent. iMovie is a whole different beast than I thought it would be. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for sticking around and making it this far, and I hope to see you soon. Uh, please remember to like and subscribe, and let me know what you think in the comments below.